minutes, I'm going to teach you that it's okay to be different. Since a young age, I've worn different colored socks and two different shoes. Why? Because I am unique, a standout from the crowd. I feel best when I am being me. This summer, a funny thing happened. I was in a bookstore with my mom when I realized everyone was strangely quiet. And so I did what needed to be done. I started singing. As a joke, my mom pointed to a book and said, hey Cole, this book is for you. I pulled it out and read the cover. Here's what it said, you're weird. <laughs> a creative journal for misfits, oddballs, and anyone else who's uniquely awesome. It's the best book ever. It tells everyone it's cool to be different. Today, I'm going to tell you about a friendship of mine that is a little different than you might expect. This is one of my best friends, Stephen. He is the happiest person I know. Stephen is 44 years old and has autism. Let me start by explaining how we became special friends. When my mom was just 13 years old, she was in the high school cafeteria about to have lunch with her friends. Then she passed a table of kids with special needs. Stephen was a boy at that table. He shouted out, hey, what's your name? Come sit with me. My mom sat down and in that moment, a special friendship began. Stephen asked my mom three questions. He wanted to know what she was having for lunch, her phone number, and if they could be friends for 40 years. <laughs> As my mom gave him her phone number and said yes, he clapped with excitement and said, I will call you every day. <laughs> Ever since that day in 1988, he has kept his promise and called our house every single day. When I was born, Stephen was a special part of our family and I've grown up calling him Uncle Stephen. Stephen is included in family dinners, he comes to my soccer games, he loves watching movies with us, and every couple of weeks, he has a sleepover. Stephen has had autism his whole life. Autism spectrum disorder refers to a range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, speech, and nonverbal communications, as well as by unique strengths and differences. My friend Stephen is not able to drive a car but he is able to memorize every phone number he has ever heard. <laughs> there is no cure for autism, but I think Stephen is perfect the way he is. One of my favorite memories with Stephen is whenever a fire truck passes us. He shouts so when I grew up, I wanna be a fire truck. <laughs> that always makes me smile. He likes the idea of being a fireman, but he loves the idea of being a fire truck. Another thing that always makes me laugh is how much he likes to eat. Have you ever met someone who can eat a steak, eight slices of pizza, french fries, apple pie, ice cream, and they are still starving? <laughs> well, Stephen eats all that almost every time we see him. Finally, one of my favorite memories with Stephen is when we play hide and seek. He always hides in the closets. <laughs> I love playing hide and seek with Stephen. It always makes me smile, but not just me. He makes everyone smile. I don't think we need a cure for autism, just like we don't need a cure for freckles. Autism is not a disease, just like brown hair isn't a disease. You don't need to fix something that isn't broken. I look up to my Uncle Stephen as he is the happiest person I know. Stephen doesn't try to be like anyone else. He is exactly who he was meant to be. Imagine a world where we all live like Stephen Find out what makes you different. Don't be afraid to stand out. Wake up, jump out of bed, and be exactly who you are. We are all a little different, and that's awesome. Thank you.